Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're doing two special releases from Wild Turkey. This one is Bond and Lillard, and this one is W.B. Saffle. Now this is from their Whiskey Barons collection. And these are two guys who owned and ran distilleries pre-prohibition in the United States. So they're doing these like commemorative bottlings. Um, these are both from Wild Turkey, as I said, and this one is 100 proof, this one's 107. So I figured, let's taste them, let's try them. Are they worth getting? They're 375 ml bottles and mm -hmm. they retail for just over 50 bucks. So 50 bucks, Wild Turkey 101 is 20 bucks. So are these worth getting? Let's find out. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have a Wild Turkey 101 at the moment in the collection to compare these two. So the only thing that I can do is I have my Wild Turkey Masters Keep 1 that I could compare them to just for a turkey profile comparison. But let's just jump in, see what we know, see what we taste, and go from there. Well, even without comparing it, I can tell you that's an unmistakable wild turkey profile. With the funk and the, that certain wild turkey nuttiness that we're all used to. Lots of vanilla, lots of cherry, lots of, of a thick, meaty rye spice. It's a, it's a really dense rye note. There's a little bit of fruitiness there too, a little bit of rock fruit. Uh, just real nice, just balancing out those darker notes with a really nice light fruity note. Oh yeah, the uh, wild oh. wild turkey always presents to me with like a peanut butter note. It's like a nuttiness that's very close to peanut butter because it's so smooth and creamy, and and that gives me that peanut butter esque note with a little bit of rye spice hanging out there on top. <clears throat> it's a little prickly in the throat. I'm actually getting a little hint of, of a sensation that I get from 1792 Full Proof, which is really odd because 1792 Full Proof kind of leaves me with a bit of a raw throat. No idea why. It's not the proof. I've drank way higher proof stuff, but it gives me a bit of a rawness in my throat. And, and sometimes if I drink... Um, 1792 foolproof my throat will be raw for a couple of days like it literally burns my throat I'm getting a hint of that here now most other people don't experience that but for whatever reason I do so just sharing so let's try Saffle 107 proof <sighs> okay Saffle, while being higher proof, noses softer. This is more creamy, more vanilla, more cherry, way softer. This is sharper. Now I have noticed this on, um, on Turkey before. Now this one shouldn't count because it's at 100 proof, but I've noticed this kind of nose, or very similar to this nose, on the low proof 80 something percent turkey products. This is a much nicer, much sweeter, rounder, more robust nose, way creamier, way more vanilla. Let's taste. Oh yeah. Oh my. Little hint of bitterness shows up on the end of the palate, right going into the transition to the finish. But all before that, 
is super sweet and creamy and pretty and viscous and just hello. Now, there is a difference between these two. This is batch two and this one is batch one. So I don't know if that makes a huge difference here. I kind of assume that in, a, in the same batch they would be the same whiskey, just at different proof points. Because that's gonna make sense for wild turkey, marketing wise, money wise, to use the same whiskey, different, two different price points to create a differentiation between these two products. Um, them being different batches, they could be completely different whiskeys, you know, like different mash bills, everything. This one drinks like a very different whiskey than this. They're both unmistakably turkey, but it's it's different. It's very different in the presentation, in the in the nosing, and the the taste. Very different. I okay. I like this one much better than this one. WB Saffel batch one over Bond and Lillard batch two. Hardly even a competition there. So let's see how they compare to the Wild Turkey one. Well, Wild Turkey one beats them both. That's got almost a strawberry note now dipped in cream and then really nice wood notes showing up in the back half of the palate okay they're all clearly turkey unmistakably turkey but between these two definitely going with the wb saffle if you see it out i think these are around like 59 dollars um it's good now the real question i think that i should answer is is this worth having if you're a wild turkey collector and fanboy, you probably want both on your shelf. I'm not. I'm not a huge wild turkey guy. It's just not a, a, my preferred whiskey profile. So both of these will be getting sampled out to my Patreon crew. And, um, and that's that. So yeah, if you like turkey, grab them. I don't think they're good enough to justify grabbing these over a Wild Turkey 101. Or a Rare Bird. Rare Bird. Um, you could get a, a 175 of barrel strength Wild Turkey for the price of this. That doesn't make any sense to me. This isn't special enough to justify the price of these. Well, whatever. There you go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.